In this example, a heat map has been generated which displays a row for each of 140 countries. Each country is described by a series of measures which are related to our business goals, including the relative numbers of internet users, telephone lines, broadband subscribers, and mobile phones, as well as the distribution of the population in urban and rural segments. The magnitude of each numerical measure is indicated by a color gradient, which colors low values blue, high values red, and values near the average of each measure a light gray. The value of the dendrograms which have been added to the heat map are that they take all of these numerical measures and organize them based upon similar color patterns going across rows and down columns. Let's examine the column dendrogram first. The short brackets connecting these measures suggest that there is a correlation between the urban population values and measures of mobile cell phone, internet, broadband, and telephone usage. In fact, the separation of the rural population values from other measures suggests that this measure may be inversely correlated to those measures. Since a correlation similarity was applied to generate these dendrograms, when we mouse over, these cluster node values approach 1 with increasingly shorter brackets, suggesting an increasingly strong positive correlation. When we mouse over the node for the cluster containing the rural population, it shows a similarity value which suggests a negative correlation. Note that this measure of the technology type service exports appears to be unrelated to the other measures as the similarity value approaches zero. If we would like to see how the clustering is impacted upon the removal of that measure, we can use the category filter to limit the data in the heat map. Note that the dendrograms were not automatically recalculated as a result of that filtering, as indicated by the icon which appeared next to the title of the heat map visualization. In order to manually trigger a recalculation of the dendrograms, we can click on this icon, and although the position of the dendrograms appears to have changed only slightly, we can see upon mouse over that the tooltip provides a slightly higher negative correlation value for this node. If we want to add a column of data which separates these rows based upon this separation of positive and negative correlations, we could drag the pruning line down to display two cluster groupings. At the bottom of the filters, we can see the column Cluster IDs column now contains two values. The value preceded by the asterisk indicates the cluster with only a single measure, the rural population measure. Note that the row cluster ID column currently shows only a single value. This is because the pruning line for the row dendrogram remains at its original position. As we drag this pruning line slowly to the right, you can see how the number of unique values in that column changes, and how the row dendrogram clusters alternate between two colors in order to make them stand out. In addition to the tooltip displayed upon mouse over, we can also mark clusters of interest. This cluster contains the smallest number of countries, and marking will populate this cross table, which has been configured as a details visualization to show a list of country names. Finding empty space in which to click in order to clear the marking can be challenging in a heat map, especially in the case of a Spotfire web player user, as they do not have access to this right mouse click menu. Therefore, as a Spotfire author, it may be a good idea for you to include a simple Unmark Data button in a text area. Let's mark a higher node, which appears to mark the separation of countries which are largely rural versus largely urban. Note that if we want to apply the Row Cluster IDs column to the cross table, in order to organize these countries by cluster grouping, we could drag and drop it before the current country selector. We can see the three cluster group assignments currently dictated by the position of the pruning line. We can also apply this column to new visualizations. For example, if we insert a pie chart, we can configure the pie chart to be colored by the row cluster IDs column and set the sector size by variable to reflect the count of countries. Note that both the cross table and the pie chart now use the column, which is defined by the position of the row dendrogram pruning line. If we drag that pruning line further to the right, the number of cluster groupings changes and both visualizations will adjust accordingly.